discuss not many question otherwise you may feel uh, your brain is too much tensed or maybe your brain will exercise too much in very short of span of time then i will discuss hardly one or two questions for number advance but it will it will surely will give you the way of thinking or way of how how many level you can think for the number pattern and number how it can be related to multiple things the number advance questions generally you will face in mock mock paper or few times you will face in your cat paper but one thing is sure if you understanding this level then cat paper or jat paper or whatever you are appearing paper that will become much easy why i am able to apply all shortcuts with, with very confident why i am able to apply all the shortcuts with much confidence because i know the number advance do, do i know this this can go in this way this loop can go in this way it cannot go in wrong way do to understanding number advance little it will be much much helpful then uh, mainly i cannot include all the things all the concept and all the sub topic but mainly i am just focusing pattern of the factors and mainly reverse of the factor this is one of the area where high level of question will frame prime number properties next is your numbers and pnc or probability many of the question last five question we have found two or two or three question where if you are not using pnc only you are using the numbers then you will be trapped in problem or maybe you will not able to solve correctly also if you are using pnc very smart way question will become easy pattern of number of zeros in factorial because it is giving a big loop big loop of numbers in how many in how many ways zero will be jump or just to take the gap of the numbers in let like just suppose 5 to 10 if any number you are taking in terms of factorial the number of zero just suppose it is n 10 to 15 you know it will be n plus 1 this is jumping by one here how many multiple option we have if from 5 to 1 you are jumping number of zero cannot jump from 10 10 10 to 1 you are jumping 11 number of zero will change now just suppose if 6 you are adding 4 number of zeros are not changing if 6 you are adding 5 number of zeros are changing by 1 this is small number then it is easy but just suppose the same pattern in that form of variable if it is applied for a big number big number means don't think it is a seven digits or eight digit number four digit number or five digit number that will be a good question good question for understanding purpose then here a pattern of number of zeros in factorial application of crt this is another area where you can find lot of good questions related to number advance next is your complex linear equation complex linear equation where we can apply integral solutions another thing that will another area where you will find lot of application reverse of fermat theorem and word or situation based question then uh, conceptually i cannot discuss so many things just will try to solve one or two questions just try to read this question if p minus 1 divided by 9 equal to r where r is a triangular number and can be maximum of four digit number what is the probability that p is a perfect number here first challenge is what is perfect number it is not perfect a square number it is not perfect cube number it is perfect number what is definition of perfect number so many definitions of perfect number is there then if you don't know the definition of perfect number mathematically and logically then it is difficult to interpret this question it is very difficult to interpret afterwards how triangular number are interrelated with perfect number and that is another issue afterwards the restriction it is maximum of four digit number and moreover probability but if you understand this question or you are able to attempt this question just for learning purpose then you will you will understand lot of things just will try to understand first perfect number what is perfect number perfect number ends with 6 or 8 means it will never odd it will be never odd it will always end with 6 or 8 it will not end with 4 or 2 but it will be always even it cannot be odd except number itself sum of factors will be always equal to number itself this is one of the important property for perfect number sum of the reciprocal of factors except one is always equal to one these all just to just to try to imagine all these things you are facing 
in during solving the questions all these things based on that you are solving the question but you don't know it is property of perfect number and perfect number how it is related to natural number and triangular number due to we are facing problem but these all property already it is asked not one time multiple time it is asked in cat afterwards number can be expressed based on this expression also question has already asked but we don't know this is perfect number this is expression of perfect number once you know you will able to make it a very very concrete loop how it will behave how number can behave how number pattern will go then 2 to the power p minus 1 into 2 to the power p minus 1 where p is a prime number a uh, will start with 1 all odd number we will take p equal to 1 then first perfect number we will get 6 second perfect number 28 third will be 496 and fourth will be 8128 first four number you try to remember because next number will be again seven digit number that is most of the time out of a scope but these four number multiple time it will be used many of the times you have used 496 but you don't know it is a perfect number but you don't know it is a perfect number now perfect number can be expressed in the form of 1 plus 9 into triangular number means triangular what is triangular number triangular number is n into n plus 1 by 2 and of natural number actually perfect number is a hexagonal number don't indulge in that we are not here mathematician but this expression based on this expression only i frame this question perfect number equal to 1 plus 9 into triangular number where triangular number is n into n plus 1 by 2 how many option you will get if n you are taking here question is asking r is a triangular number r is a triangular number and can be maximum of a four digit number then first here understanding is coming what will be the maximum value of n means triangular number series will start 1 3 6 10 we know already 15 21 it will keep on go what will be the highest four digit number how we can say what will the value of n n if it is 140 that will give you the highest number that will give you the highest four digit triangular number if you are just taking next value n equal to 141 then it will cross the four digit number it will become a five digit number means maximum now first idea you got range of n 1 to 140 range of r we can say based on that we have to find what will be the range of r total 140 into 141 divided by 2 how much it will come no need to calculate here no need to calculate here just wasting time for calculation if you can easily calculate okay if you don't want to leave it no need to do now based on the r how many value of p you have to you will find and out of these value of p how many number will be perfect number this is four level of analysis you have to start with natural number n you have to analyze triangular number and based on that you have to analyze p and out of these p how many number will be perfect number and this perfect number what is the outcome what is the outcome then based on that outcome we have to decide the probability little serious question due to seriously i am talking little serious question this four step just we can understand little clean way r equal to this 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 r equal to 1 3 6 10 last number will be 9 8 7 0 n equal to 1 to 140 p will be 10 28 55 91 91 it will go up to here out of all these values we know perfect number will be only 8128 up to 8128 beyond that it will be seven digit number this is out of a scope this is out of a scope means up to 81831 we have only three option of perfect number 28496 three out of 140 this will be your probability now it looks easy now it looks very easy but just suppose if you don't know all these concept then can you able to solve this question easily no this question you can just keep as a learning 